Hi guys, welcome to A Clary Tale and welcome to another video. It's been a while since my last update, so I thought I'd say hello, how are you all doing? That's the one thing I really miss about not uploading as frequently as I usually do. I really miss the interaction with you guys, so do let me know below how you're doing. Although I know a lot of you do follow me on Instagram and if you're not yet, please do. I love to hear from you on there as well. I've been posting a lot of stories recently and if I do have a video that's gonna go up soon I will post about it on there as well so you will see that but I thought I'd check in and give you a little bit of an update and I thought I'd film a bit of a shop Disney haul so a little bit of an update here in England we are in a second lockdown if you don't know we are on lockdown 2.0 as some people are calling it so just the essential shops are open and uh, I'm still working from home though nothing has changed there I'm still loving it as well it makes such a difference to your life when you enjoy your job you're there most of the time so I'm so glad I finally found something that I love after Disney. It was so hard to ever compete with Disney and I finally found somewhere where at night I am not full of worry and angst and I actually love it. I wake up thinking, oh great, right, what are we doing today? What shall I? I just, I've not felt that passion since working at Disney. Um, so I'm so, so glad. Let's hope it continues. I'm sure it will. I've been there, what, over two months now. So I really feel part of the team and and yeah, and actually I thought I'd tell you. So apparently Christmas dues with the company I work for are usually a big deal. Um, it's because it's from everyone from all over the country coming together and they make it a big party. But obviously that can't happen this year. So the CEO is sending out all these exciting treats for us. And then we're gonna have Zoom meetings for each of the treats with a specialist talking about those treats. So I'll tell you what they are. I'll, I'll film them when they arrive if you'd like to see that. Um, but we've got uh, a cheese evening. So we're gonna be trying all these matured artisan cheeses. And I think there's gonna be a lot of them the way he was talking. So they're gonna be coming through the post soon. Then there's gonna be a gin evening. So I'm expecting in the post a load of miniature gin selection, a particular brand. I'll let you know what it is um, when it comes. Um, so that's going to be fun to find out all about them. I'm not a big gin drinker, but it might be different when I know about about it a bit more. Um, and best of all, Hotel Chocolat are coming to talk to us about all their chocolates and we're going to be getting a load through the post. Can't wait for that. I'm going to have to give them to Simon to make sure I don't eat before the meeting because we know what I'm like and my chocolate. So, but yeah, that's exciting. So looking forward to seeing that. I wonder if they'll give us a discount on the, the Velvetizer everyone is talking about this year. That would be really cool. Um, so yeah, those are the three things coming and waiting for in the post. And we're also having a tapas night. They're going to give us the ingredients to make tapas one evening and uh, and yeah so if you'd like me to film those do let me know and I'll see what I can put together so another thing I wanted to talk to you about was vlogmas so it is a question I get asked a lot because I've done vlogmas now for what four years three years three, this would be the fourth I believe yeah my vlogmas in in Florida was my first one 2017 18 19 yes yeah, so this would be my fourth Vlogmas and it is a bit different this year because obviously we can't do as much and we've been encouraged not to go out as much. So I don't know whether I will film a Vlogmas properly. I might do one a week uh, like I did last year just so that I don't just film anything for the sake of it because you know I don't really like to do that. Um, and as well if we're not meant to be going out I don't want to be going to garden centres and things if we shouldn't really be um, but we'll see what things are like by December it might be that we are allowed to go to garden centres and look around and go to cafes and if we can do things like that then I will for sure bring you along with me because we all know we all love a good Christmas garden centre and you know I'll be there <laughs> we do have a little bit of a staycation booked for December as well obviously we're not sure if it is still going ahead we'll have to see how things go um, but if it is, I'll film that and 
But yeah, I'll just see. let's just see. So the last little update I wanted to tell you about, um, my dad has painted a new painting called Winter Wonderland Home, and it is a painting of Mickey and Minnie walking back to their home, which is the home that used to be in Toontown in Florida. And he's painted it as like a wintry, Christmassy scene. We've got the prints available now in the shop. I'll put the link below if you'd like to see them. I did film this little clip that I'm gonna put in next, showing you exactly what they look like as well. So I'll just put that in here. So this is my dad's new painting. It's called Winter Wonderland Home. This is the actual, the print itself. We've actually got it on thicker paper, which is exciting. It looks really good quality. Um, it's Mickey and Minnie walking to Mickey's Toontown home, if anyone remembers when it was in Florida. And uh, yeah, nice little winter scene. I really hope you like it. So I'll put the link below if you are interested. And it's free worldwide delivery as well. We'll post it all over the world if you would like. These are the last magnets we've got. We won't be getting any more after these go. So if you are wanting these ones, I will put the link below for those as well. What is it? Just, I think it's seven left. Wow. Thank you so much to anyone that does get one. It means so much to us. So let's go on to the reason you may have clicked on this video. Shop Disney haul. I ordered quite a lot off the Shop Disney website the other week and I posted on Instagram the size of this box and to see whether you wanted to see what was inside, see whether I should do a haul. And so many messages saying, yes, thank you so much. You guys, you're just so passionate about Disney and I'm here for that because I am too. Um, so let me show you the size of the box. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> Look at this. I can't even get it in shot. There we go. <laughs> It is a massive box. It's actually a little bit deceiving, so I hope you're not gonna be disappointed uh, because it's a really big box with not that much inside. It is filled with this, <laughs> um, but there are some exciting things in here that I can't wait to show you. This is gonna be noisy. Oops. Right, packaging away. <laughs> that was so loud let's start with oh actually i do want to quickly say that um nothing in here is actually for me i just realized yeah it's all gifts so these are all gifts for my family for christmas which is a kind of a reason why i wasn't going to film this because i'm really nervous that they might see it um so if you are my brother simon uh, my nephew, my mum, and Simon's little nephew, so Simon's brother as well, um, you're not allowed to watch any further. Please stop this video. <laughs> Please stop what you're doing <laughs> because uh, I don't want you to see your presence. So yeah, let's not ruin the surprise and end this video now. <laughs> but for everyone else, I'm going to show you all these gifts I bought for my family for Christmas. Um, yeah, I didn't really get anything for me, but there are a few things in here that I got for Simon that are secretly a little bit for me as well. <laughs> Does anyone do that? Buy things for their loved ones that actually it's because you want them to. <laughs> actually, I will start with one of the presents that I got for Simon that I secretly want. <laughs> I have got him. This is so cool. The Baby Yoda mug. Isn't that gorgeous? Mandalorian. He's in his little pod thing. I love it so much. The only thing is, it's really weird to sort of drink out of <laughs> because it's a circle. I hope you'll like that. Do you know what I mean? Like the lip of the cup is a bit, I don't know. We'll see what it's like anyway, but he's just too cute. I had to get it for him. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. So this was just something really little um, to go with the mug. Oh, it's so cute. Um, it's Baby Yoda when he's in the wind. Can you see that? And his ears are flapping away in the wind. And his cute little smiley face. Oh, I forgot I got that. So yeah, I'm going to put the mug and this in with his main present. Obviously, that's not it. Um, but just to, just to add bits. What I like to do is, I always, for Christmas especially, 
buy lots of little bits so that they've got loads to open or it looks like they've got more to open especially for the kids i love having loads so that they think that they've got more than they actually do if that makes sense let's stay on simon for one last thing which again is star wars and i'm sure you guys can guess what this is i think this is the reason why the box was so big we have got the Star Wars Lego Advent Calendar. Yes! Are you ready for Vlogmas? <laughs> it's really cool, right? Let me show you the back. You've got the picture is a Millennium Falcon with Christmas lights on. How cute is that? And it looks like we've got some new bits of uh, Lego as well. I think there's something from the Mandalorian somewhere, Simon said. And we've got, these are new as well with their Christmas jumpers. Um, oh, well, this one's new as well, I think. I don't think we had that last year. But anyway, so that's exciting for Christmas, countdown to Christmas. We couldn't not get the Star Wars Lego. Oh, I was going to say prices, but I forgot. Uh, 24 99 for the Star Wars Lego totally worth it right next i got for my little nephew a spider-man um pajama set how much were they oh it's not got a price on them i think they're about 12 pounds got them seven to eight he's only six but the, he can grow into them and uh yeah they're long sleeved pajamas and he loves spider-man at the moment so anything marvel he just loves and i thought it would go really well with another present that i got for him i've got him a spider-man game shall i show it you i didn't get it this time round uh, but it is from the disney store wait i'll i'll just go and get it so this is the game i got for him this was from the disney store but like i say not not this order i got it a few months ago now um but it's a spider-man game right it's basically kaplunk but without the marbles instead of the marbles falling down when you pull a stick out it's little um hanging spider-men guys <laughs> so it should be really fun i can't wait to play that on christmas day that's going to be so much fun and probably not as noisy as kaplunk how noisy was kaplunk when you were little um so yeah that should be really fun that's what it's called spider drop this is for my brother Basically, my brother and I love the ride. We've loved it ever since we were little uh, in Epcot, the Mexican Pavilion, the Three Caballeros ride. We love it so much. I actually bought him the mug. Um, I'll see if I can find a picture of it. Um, the Three Caballeros mug. And they've just released this year a Christmas decoration. And it's so nice. So, it's a legacy one. It's 75 years, it says. Um, but this is it. And the backs of them as well. Um, so, yeah, Chris will love that on his tree. He has a few with the Disney ornaments. So, yeah, he's going to really like that. We be carry hero, busy, we are birds of a feather. Sorry, no one needed to hear that. Right, there are only two things left in this giant box. But one of the things is for my mum, and I feel like even if I tell her not to watch this video, she still will. So I don't want to show these because I don't want to ruin the surprise because she doesn't know that I got these. So I'm going to keep that secret and um, maybe I'll show you on Instagram on Christmas Day. Um, but it's really, really nice. This last thing, oh my gosh, it's the cutest thing ever. Uh, Simon's brother little nephew if you're watching please turn off now because i do not want you to see this gorgeous present um so you know simon loves his star wars simon's twin brother loves star wars as well which therefore means simon's little nephew ha is full of star wars merch in their house I'm trying to get out this bag <laughs> it's so good <laughs> so it's a little baby yoda pillow which also comes out as a baby yoda blanket so you can just see baby yoda's ear it's full of i wonder if there's a picture of it on here oh there is let me show you so inside this little pillow is this blanket with all these little baby yodas on oh my goodness it also has one of those things there so that you can put it on your 
suitcase. That is the coolest thing ever. I kind of want one myself. So that's everything I bought for my family from Shop Disney. I really hope you enjoyed this haul. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you did and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time. Bye! Make your memories, make your